In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Inkscape to crop an image with very clean, smooth, and fluid lines, similar to what you see to what I've done here with this graphic. And I've included a link to this graphic in the description if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial. So go ahead and download that and then import it into Inkscape. Now there's this is probably not the best software to crop images with. You'd be better off doing this with something like GIMP because GIMP allows you to feather the edges of whatever you crop, making it look more natural. But nevertheless, you could still do this with Inkscape, and I like to use this often myself. I'm going to show you my own personal technique for how I go about cropping clean lines around an object. There's various ways to do this, but I'm just going to show you my own technique that I've um, worked on over the years. Now bear in mind, this is not something you'll be able to learn after watching this video. You're going to have to practice this a little bit, and it's a skill that you'll develop a little more over time as you start to uh, understand the concept of it a little better. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out, and I'm going to open up Inkscape. I'm going to open up the Align and Distribute menu. I'm going to open up the uh, Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu. And then I'll go to File, Document Properties. I'm going to get rid of the page border and close that out view. As always, I use custom and then I'm going to zoom in at one to one. And then I'm just going to import this graphic. I'm just going to click and drag this into Inkscape, kind of like that. Okay, so here we have our image. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to crop this whole entire thing. I'm just going to crop about half of it. So I'm going to pull out a guide and I'm going to bring it to about here. And for everything from the right side of this uh, guide on, I'm going to crop out. So. Um, I'm actually going to take this image and drop the opacity a little bit. I'm only doing this so you'll be able to see what I'm doing while I'm doing it. I wouldn't recommend actually doing this yourself. You'll be, you're you're going to want to be able to see all the distinct uh, borders around the subject that you're cropping. So I would recommend keeping your opacity up to 100%. But I'd like for you to be able to see what I'm doing on my screen. So I'm just going to drop the opacity down a little bit so you can see the lines that I'm using. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to hold the control key and I'm going to zoom in with the mouse wheel. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then I'm going to take the Bezier pen. I'm going to snap it onto this line, click, drag the line straight up to here and click that onto there. And what I'm going to do is instead of bringing the line around each and every single individual point, I'm just going to bring it along the straight edges and the corners. And I'm going to cut straight across the uh, the curved areas. Now that probably doesn't make much sense, but you'll see what I'm doing afterwards. See, that's a curved edge right there. I'm going to skip around that and click right here. I'm going to cut around that curved area and put this right about here. I'm going to connect this to the bottom of the phone right there. I'm going to hold Control and bring this line straight out. Click. And then I'm going to cut straight across that curved edge of the phone. And I'm going to click right onto that corner. And I'm going to cut across this curved edge right here. And click. I'm going to do the same thing. And click right there. Um, I'm going to bring this line, now I'm going to bring this up to here. And then here. This probably isn't going to make much sense to you while I'm doing this, but after I'm done drawing this line, I'm going to go and edit these paths by nodes individually and, and take each and every uh, segment of the line and fit it around the border of the subject. I'll put this right about here. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just uh, connecting various points of the border of the subject and bypassing curves. I'm going to hold control and bring this line straight up. I'll put that there and I'll put this here and then I'll put that there. And I'm going to bring this line all the way up the edge here. And right when it starts to curve, I'm going to put the point right there and I'm going to cut straight across to where the point starts to begin right here. I'll bring this straight across to the guide. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to hold control and move the mouse wheel down to zoom out. I'm just going to bring this line straight up to there. Zoom out a little bit. 
I'm just going to bring this line all the way around and connect it back to the starting point. Kind of like that. I'm going to go back to the arrow. I'm going to hover the cursor over that guide to get rid of that. I don't need that anymore. And let me zoom in a little bit just to show you what I did here. Now that looks very, very sloppy, but I'm going to go and clean this up right now because that's the next step in what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to take this line. It's a little thick to see uh, where exactly where to place it. So I'm going to go to stroke style. I'm going to give this a, a, a 0 0.2 stroke, kind of like that. And I'm going to make the color of this stroke red so that it stands out against the background and I can better see what I'm doing. And you know what? I'm actually going to bring the opacity in this image a little, up a little more so I can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you could still see this red line here on the page. So once I have this line drawn, I'm going to go to the, uh, the Edit Paths by Nodes button. I'm going to click on this line and I'm going to grab each and every segment of this line and I'm just going to drag it drag the line so that it it goes along the edge of the subject there and you could you could change different segments of the line by clicking on each node and bringing up these handles you see what I'm going to do here I'm going to fit this line right up into that curve I'm going to bring this part of the line down a little bit and this is straight we can leave that just how it is and I'm going to take this I'm going to bring this down. I'm actually going to move this a little in a little bit. I'm take this line, bring this down to about here. And I'm going to take this line. I'm going to hold control so this comes straight out, kind of like that. I'm actually going to bring this in a little more. It's a little far out. See, basically, there's a little bit of green on the left side of that red line. I don't want that. I want to get rid of that. I want to make sure that I'm cropping out just the object and none of the background. I'm going to take this line right here and bring this around the edge of uh, the guy's finger right here. And then I take this part and curve that up. And I'm going to hold control and click on this node right here so that it makes it so that this does not become a corner. I can actually, I cannot make this a corner now. Previously, what I could do is I can go like this and go like that and it kind of looks like a corner and sometimes you won't notice it up close but when you zoom out you'll look at it and you'll be like oh that kind of looks like a corner it doesn't look like a curve so what um what, what holding control and clicking the node does is makes it so it's fluid it's not a corner so this is actually uh, I'm gonna bring this in a little bit I'm gonna zoom out You'll be doing a lot of zooming in and a lot of zooming out, so I would get used to using uh, the control and the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. I'm going to bring that in a little bit. I'm going to take this line and bring this out here. And here we run into this problem again with it kind of looking like a corner. You know it's not fluid because this handle, pay attention to these two handles right here. This handle is going up to the left and this handle is going down to the left. Ideally, you want these two handles to be going parallel to each other. So if you cl hold, click, uh, hold control and click on the node, those two lines go straight up and down with each other now. And now you know it's a fluid line. And it's important that you do that around each and every curve where you have um, a point. Put that like that. Take this bottom part. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see this a little better. Sometimes it's hard to distinguish the uh, the subject from the background when you're zoomed in that close. I'm going to take this part, bring this out to here, bring this one out. And again, I'm going to hold control and click on that node so that it makes it fluid and smooth and it's not a corner. I'm going to bring that line in a little bit because it seems to be touching. It seems to not be touching the subject which is uh, bringing a little bit of the background into the image. Move that line up to there. Come take care of this finger now. Like that. Take this one like that. Hold control and click on that node to make that smooth. Bring that line in a little bit. Take this one, bring that up, and I'm going to hold control and click on this node to make that smooth. And then come all the way up to the corner right here. I'm going to take this line and put it around this edge. 
I'm going to click on this corner. Now notice this line, this red line right here is going straight up and down. You want this handle to be in alignment with this line. So what you could do is you could take it like that. You could hold control and click on this node as well and that'll bring this line so that it can only go in alignment with this line. See, I can't I can't move this thing left and right if I wanted to. I can only go up and down. So I'm just going to go up and down like that. I'm going to place the line around that edge. I'm going to take this line right here, going straight out. I'm going to hold control and click on that node to make that straight. And I'd say that's, um, that's pretty good. That's pretty close. Maybe, maybe bring this down a little bit. No, not so much. Okay, so I'm going to press 1 to zoom out. And then I'm going to go back to the arrow, and we have our shape fitted around the subject we want to crop. You can't really see it because it's really thin stroke. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this blue. Oops, clicked the wrong thing. And then I'm going to go to the stroke, and I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to bring the opacity down a little bit so you see what I'm doing. Now, it doesn't matter what color you make this. You can make it blue, green. You can make it no color. You can just leave it, leave it a bezier um, stroke if you want. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, with this selected, I'm going to hold shift and then click on the image and I'm going to go to object, clip, and then set. And that's going to crop out. That's going to take the vector object that we drew and grab the image and just take that image in the shape of the, of the vector uh, object we created, which I think is pretty self-explanatory if you can see here on my screen. And just to show you, I'm going to draw a box now and put it beneath this so you could see we have cropped out that image. Now the lines aren't perfect but I'd say they're pretty good. That's about as good as you can do in Inkscape. Now if you want you could take this image and export it as a PNG and then you could open up GIMP and you could feather the edges of this of the object so that it's not uh, you know, like the edges aren't so hard like that, but that's a totally other tutorial. I could do that another time if you'd like. But that's pretty much it for now. That's how you can crop an image using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And thanks again for watching.